Today we're going to look at Attunity Replicate, Attunity's new quick time to value high performance replication software. And today we're going to be creating a replication solution that will take data from an Oracle database and replicate it into a SQL Server database. We're spending most of the time today within the Attunity Replicate console that you see here. And the first thing that we're going to do is uh, define the databases that we're going to be working with. We already have a couple defined, but just to give you an idea of what we can work with with Replicate, Oracle, SQL Server, a number of different types of data sources. But in this case, we already have an Oracle data source defined, and we see that we just have to provide an Oracle connection string, username and password. And then we do the same thing with SQL Server. However, in this case, with SQL Server, we're just going to provide the server name. In this case, the database name. And you'll notice that we are using rep target as the database name. Uh, we will see that again when we get into the uh, SQL Server Management Studio and see the target database. So having defined the databases, the next thing that we're going to go into is defining and creating a new replication task. And creating a replication task within Attunity Replicate is simply uh, dragging and dropping our source and target databases on an easy to use template. So you can see the template that we have built up here with our uh, rep with our new replication task. So we're going to drag the Oracle source onto the template, the SQL Server destination, and then it's just a matter of choosing the tables that we're going to work with from the Oracle database, from our source database. In this case, I'm going to choose tables from the HR schema. I'll include those, and we can include tables via patterns, or we can uh, manually choose uh, tables that we want to work with. In this case, I, this is going to give me the patterns I want to work with. I could also, for example, exclude certain tables from this pattern. For example, if I wanted to exclude tables starting with DW for data warehouse, I can exclude those. So once we've uh, decided on the tables that we're going to be working with, we could go through and say I want to do some additional filtering on a particular table and choose just information from that table within a certain range. or do some transformations on that table. For example, maybe add, add an additional column, uh, do some transformations, add information. But again, you'll see that all of this uh, filtering, transformation, table selection is done within the Tunity Replicate console, which, uh, as you'll see, does not require you to drop down to a command line, create scripts, or do any coding. So at this point, we've got our replication task ready to run. And before we start it up, I just want to take a quick look at the SQL Management Studio for SQL Server. And we'll see here our rep target database. And currently, right now, there are no tables defined there. So as I jump back over to the Repl Attunity Replicate console, I'll start up the process. So our replicate task is starting up. And first thing we'll see is it's going to switch to kind of a monitoring view for the full load process. And the first thing that's going to happen as this full load process goes is that we're analyzing the data structures on the source table side. And then those uh, structures will be, the metadata will be extracted from that and created, and we'll be creating the tables and metadata on the target side. If we, we can take a look at the progress as the tables are being loaded here as well, and we can see uh, we've completed loading most of the tables and we'll finish up loading uh, the final table here in just a moment. And once this in, uh, initial load is done, we'll be able to, it will automatically switch and start processing change data. 
So after this full loading is done, we're going to switch into processing changes against the source database. Now, in this case, there is no uh, application acting on the source database right now. However, I have a little uh, job here that's going to act as a application running here. It's basically just going to insert rows into one of the target tables and update rows in another. It's going to insert a thousand rows in the regions table and update a thousand in the countries table. And if we jump back into the management console here and look at our change processing, we see as the changes are added to the source system, we are processing them and applying them to the target databases. So if we look at this, we see the processing of changes in near real time from Oracle over to our target SQL Server database. I hope this gives you a feel for how the Attunity Replicate tools works. Thank you, thank you for your attention. And if you would like more information, please visit our website at www.attunity.com.